you can draw this entire illustration in just three steps using Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm happy how well this turned out and I'm so happy to share with you all. We are going to start off with a resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are going to start off with a step one that is to paint the greenery. Imagine yourself taking a photo of a flower and then you're keeping the background of leaf and then few of the bouquet light. So that's where this entire illustration comes into handy and we are going to add the lighter shade of green, darker shade of green and we are going to add one one more layer to add more lighter shade of green and some tint of yellow with the help of coarse watercolor brush and we are going to use blending brush from artist column make sure to follow the size strength and the flow of the brush and these are all in 2x speed take your sweet time to illustrate and we are just going to blend this across from darker to lighter shade this is how we go with the illustration once we are done blending the darker to lighter shade we are just going to smudge it around so that we give the look of a distance greenery the that's what we are trying to get from this blending and of course this may be different based on the stylus you're using based on the ipad or tablet you're using so make sure you follow the strength and the pressure of your stylus and we are moving on to the main illustration of the entire bit that is to draw a branch and a flower we are using fountain pen and we are using three colors of dark brown here one is brown and dark brown and one more is lighter shade of brown and we are just going to add this tiny tweak of branch and once that is done we are going to use the help of blending brush again to blend this across and of course everything comes to life only at the edge so make sure to have some patience while you're blending this or while you're making this illustration because you'll be like oh my gosh it happens so quickly in the video but here it's a little bit difficult but no just take your sweet time these are all in 4x speed so we are slowly going to blend across the tweak of the branch and once we are done we are going to add a new layer for the petal layer or the flower layer i'm going to show the most easiest trick to actually build an entire flower with just one petal we are going on to that step in next few seconds and once you are done blending the branches make sure to add a new layer and then i am going to add the help of um, symmetry option and i'm going to use font and pen to add a very basic uh, petal here that is a chop on the, on, the, on the top and then some blend on the bottom and I'm going to fill it with the lighter shade of pink to darker shade of pink and then I'm going to add few more shade of pink here in the middle bit and then with the help of blending brush I'm just going to slowly blend it across of course this look ugly trust me because the process is where you are going to be patient we are slowly going to blend this shade of color I have added and then once we are done we are going to smudge across to the bottom make sure the outline remains same you don't have to do much because we are going to use the help of dissort tool to actually make it look more like petally in next few seconds once you are done blending you can add the shadow now itself but i prefer to add the shadow at the very end once the entire illustration is done this way it would help me give actually the depth of what i'm looking in here i'm slowly going to push the lighter shade into the darker shade and kind of create those petal effect here and then i'm going to use the help of flow airbrush to add those little darker shade of shadow okay not the final shadow but kind of a lighter and a darker shade here and also i'm picking lighter shade to add those highlights in the petal and i'm going to slowly adjust this across i'm going to copy and paste another petal but this petal is going to be behind the main petal so make sure to bring the layer beneath the main petal and if you can see on the top toolbar the first one is called the sort tool i'm slowly going to stretch it across to make it look like the flower is about to bloom but also not fully bloom also i'm going to add a new petal here again it is behind the second petal so this should be below the second petal you don't have to put the entire thing out just the edge uh, uh, being out is enough here and once we are done adding this we are going to add one more petal and then this copy paste method will be over so based on that like you you can add as many petals as you want to make it look like a bloom but for, but for me this look okay so i'm going to add one more and then we will be happy how this has turned out and also i'm going to add shadow for one of the petal the third petal here this is the fourth petal and once done we are going to use the help of font and pen to add few more tiny petal in this flower everything has to be behind the main petal so the first become first petal then the second one two three four okay so make sure you add layer beneath the first layer and goes follows up by 
So likewise, I'm going to add a new layer and then I'm going to use the help of font and pen to add those tiny, tiny bit of petal. One here and one on to the right and one on to the left. It's just look like this is about to bloom, but not yet fully bloomed, right? So we are going to do the same thing here. And of course, we are. I'm trying to bring this to the very last layer. Like I said, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. How much ever petal you want to add, right? Now I'm using a little bit lighter shade of pink here and then I'm I'm going to use the blending brush to blend it across to make it look like it is a part of petal we are almost at the end of the main element of the illustration and we are just moving on for our next bit so if you see these are all the tiny tiny thing these are all in 2x speed so make sure you use your sweet time while you illustrate i'm just trying to merge this entire illustration down i'm going to add one last shadow to the flower so that it looks like it is a part of this so even the tiny petal which is just going to bloom in next few days going to be a part of it i'm going to add few more darker shade few more lighter shade to make it look as realistic as we can once we are done we are into the final step that is to add bouquet this is the most easy step we are going to use flow art brush and a ton of color that's it so we are having a tint blue a white and yellow and this is going to be layer above our greenery layer and just make sure you are going to follow it across if you have not a subscribed to my newsletter you should definitely go through because it is one of the most heartful content which i'm sharing from my inbox to yours it is free on every saturday this recent saturday Today I have published on how to be yourself and how to find yourself in the scenario and also I give you behind the mind what happened to certain illustration why is it being posted on certain days and also I like to share about my podcast of what I am recently hearing and what book I'm reading how it is helping me on day to day life hope if you have interested in all this you can definitely give a subscribe to my newsletter I'll make sure to leave a link down below and thank you for all of your support if you're not a subscriber please make sure to subscribe like share and also comment down below which of the video you enjoyed in this illustration i'll be happy to read and comment back to you if you are my existing subscriber thank you for your support as always and it means a lot to me your comments your support is what makes me come every single day post here build a community where we are going to share our like-mindedness and become a better in this world Till tomorrow, have a great life, enjoy yourself, take one day at a time, you are not in a hurry, you are like a flower like this, you are beautiful, that's the way you are, you are just going to take some time to bloom and you will be fully, fully in your entire strength when you are able to come out and be yourself. So take care, have a great life, enjoy yourself, till then, see you tomorrow, bye bye.